Hi everyone, welcome to Design Break. I can't believe it's been an entire year since we posted our last video, um, but it's been an extremely busy year. We've since moved to Los Angeles uh, from Scotland um, and things have been really busy with the agency side. So it's been really exciting, but we do have a lot of videos that we wanted to make. Um, so here they are. This is the first one. Um, and this is how to control a uh, Lottie animation color using CSS in Webflow. So think with your uh, with your burger uh, in your menu, if you want to change the color on hover with CSS um, or using Webflow, this is how you can do that. So let's jump in. Okay, so we'll start off in After Effects, which is where I've built my animation. Um, it's nothing exciting. Um, it's not going to win awards, uh, but it's a simple burger that uh, animates to a cross and then back to the two lines. Now, I could just have done this and then reversed it, but for the sake of this, I've done the entire animation. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like a more detailed video on how to do this whole uh, animation. It's, it's fairly basic, but I know not everyone's familiar with After Effects. Okay, looking at what we've got here, we've just got the two lines, which are just two simple rectangles, and we've named them top line and bottom line. Um, and that's fairly standard for an After Effects animation. Uh, and I'll show you when I flip over to uh, Webflow what this looks like right now. So we have just a very simple nav setup here. I click this, um, it expands this menu, close, and it closes it. So very simple, but obviously here the um, the burger isn't the same color as the highlight color we have here for services and all little text. So um, as a standard Lottie, you can't change that. Uh, but there is something very simple we can do in After Effects that will allow us to make changes. So all you have to do is with your line here, change this to a class name. So in this case, I'll use uh, burger hyphen line. Um, and because these are both the same, I can use uh, the same class here, but you can use different classes if uh, you want to apply different colors to different elements. So it's as simple as that. Nothing changes on the After Effects side, but if I now bring up uh, Body Moving to export this, so we can uh, give this a name, Burger with Classes, click Save. Um, I've already exported this, so. Uh, We'll just hit render, imagine that rendering out. Um, and then we can jump back into Webflow and change out this Lottie animation. Okay, so over in Webflow, we can see how this animation looks where we click the um, the burger, it's opening and closing the menu just fine, but it's black and we don't really want it to be black, we want it to be the highlight color that we're using on the rest of the site. So um, we go over to the nav Lottie, we'll replace this with our um, new, that Lottie animation that we've created, which is burger with classes. Um, and we can close that out. Now, on first uh, glance, it looks exactly the same because there's no, there's no code here to tell this um, what color to be. Um, so what we can do is we can create an HTML embed on the page. Um, you can just drag that in from the uh, Webflow designer in here. And then if we click on the settings cog, I've, this is some code that was uh, made for this menu earlier, but that's, that's not really important. Um, the piece of code that we're going to add in here is to target the class that we just made in, in After Effects. So that would be the burger-line class. And then we want to target the path, the SVG path within that. So we'll add path. We'll open the parentheses and we'll say um, fill. That's the SVG fill that we're targeting. And then we'll add current color. And that's just going to make the... Um, that's going to make the path fill in the current color, which is the the text color that's been set for that item. So we can click save and close, um, and instantly we can see it's changed the correct color. So we can click on our nav Lottie and see where the color field is coming from in their typography. We click this, you can see that it's coming from this parent class, which is nav, uh, menu dash opener. So if we go to our menu dash opener page, you can see we've actually set the color here. It's not just inheriting from the body, but we actually have set the color here, which means we can do some other things with this. Um, and what we want to do is target the hover and then change this to, let's say, white. Um, or let's make this really obvious, actually, and let's make it bright red, which is going to look terrible, but it's going to be obvious. So if we go back to the none state. Now um, we have this burger that's... Um, has an obvious hover animation effect. And then when we click it, 
it still animates, but the color can be controlled um, using the color field here in Webflow for um, under the typography. So I'll change that to something a bit less offensive. Uh, we'll make that white. Um, and now we've created kind of a really subtle white hover effect and it works for the close and the open state. Um, so that's a really simple way to control the hover effect color in Webflow. All right, so that's it. Um, it's really quite simple. There's nothing too complex to it, but hopefully this has some great uses for you, not just for hover, but maybe think of uh, dark mode and light mode. Um, there's there's just so many uses for this, uh, changing the, the color of a Lottie uh, on the fly using Webflow. So um, yeah, hopefully you can have some fun with that. If you have any ideas for any other videos, we do have a few we're planning to make, but we'd love to hear ideas from, uh, from you guys on videos that we can make. Uh, we have switched up the brand of the channel a little bit just since it's been a year to try and keep things fresh. So hopefully you like that. Welcome to hear any feedback on it too. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe if you like this content and um, we'll see you in the next one.